Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Mustafa and this is WP360. First of all, I want to say thank you for watching my videos. Uh, thank you for subscribing to my channel. I really truly appreciate that. Now, if you're not a subscriber yet, do me a solid, hit that subscribe button and let's become a family and let's learn WordPress together. So in this video, as usual, uh, I'm bringing you a new plugin that I'm using right now. And this plugin is the code snippets. Now, uh, WordPress is a very powerful uh, tool uh, and then uh, the more uh, power you get by adding uh, more plugins but the ultimate control you can have over WordPress is to edit the functions.php now this file is basically house all the functionality for WordPress now if you can edit that if you know PHP and you can edit that then you can control everything in this uh, in, in WordPress now if you don't know what you're doing or you did not uh, you don't know H uh, PHP or uh, you did not test the code that you uh, uh, added to this uh, file you can lock yourself out so you won't be able to access WordPress and trust me it happened to me before and and what you have to do is you have to use something called an FTP client where you use a software that connect you to your host and then you access this file and then basically reverse what you did so you can have access to uh, to WordPress again. Now, uh, what this uh, this this plugin is? Uh, this plugin basically inject code into the uh, PHP uh, the functions.php. Now, uh, what does this do? Like, why this this is a good uh, plugin? Uh, first of all, you don't need to know PHP. You can do a simple Google search and then you will have hundreds of, of snippets that it's already been tested and then you can just copy and paste and then you can uh, just use it. Now, if the other thing is this, this is basically, it, it has a, a, a text editor. So if there is, if the code that you're, you're pasting has a problem, it will tell you, it will be like, hey, there's a problem in here and it will not inject it into PHP. Uh, functions.php so that's a good thing if there's there's a problem with the code it will understand that there's a problem and then it will stop you pro from doing that now this is doesn't work 100% so be careful when you use this uh, 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 plugin uh, and then uh, make sure that you know how to use an FTP client in case of anything happen so after you uh, install, after you search it, it's code snippet, you install and activate. Uh, first, before you do that, you're going to see this warning. It's like it hasn't been tested for the latest uh, uh, WordPress. And that's normal. This has been like the last time this updated is three months ago. I've used it on many of my uh, websites and I had no problems. Really, the, the plugin functionality is really simple it's just taking a code and, and in, like injecting it into the functions.php so there's nothing to the uh, plugin so they have to update it or constantly updating it it just work uh, but again check it out if it did not work or there's a problem then just don't use it now once you install and activate you will get a little uh, a snippet uh, uh, tab here if you click on that it's pretty simple you click add new you go find the code that you want to add and you paste it right here and then you can add description so you can just uh, have a description of what this uh, 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 snippet does then you can add text so you can sort them out you can uh, do all kind of things and then you can just save this, the, the uh, changes uh, the other thing there's this setting here and that's the scope is where do you want this uh, uh, snippet to work so the, the default is run the snippet everywhere. I usually stay with everywhere unless I have a specific need, but really I, I just you leave it as, as default. Uh, in this case, if you have a snippet that will add allow, that will change the admin area, then go ahead and have it run only uh, when, when you're on the admin area and this will run it only on the uh, site front end and that's basically your website so the front end of your website so you can choose either or I usually just leave it here I have no problem with that now this is a very 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 simple plugin uh, to use uh, once you have those those uh, snippets like when you go back to the snippets 
I don't have anyone right here because I don't have any need on this uh, specific website but you will have uh, an, an option here to um, uh, export so if you want to take those snippets that you use and export them and then use them on a different website you can do that you just go to the other website and hit import and then you just choose the file and then you just grab all these um, uh, uh, snippets and the last thing here so you got the old snippet you got the add new and then you got the import and then you got setting now setting there's for real there's zero need to be on this tab this is basically the look of what you're doing so there's nothing like there's no specific uh, uh, instruction or there's specific setting is just the theme and the color and the height and the width and there's nothing uh, to it just leave it as default don't mess with it and then you should be fine uh, so uh, there you have it I hope you have uh, you will enjoy using this plugin just be careful uh, anything where there is a code anything where there is uh, uh, editing to a functionality file just be careful uh, don't overdo it and then you should be fine uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video uh, leave a like uh, leave a, a comment uh, and I will uh, see you in the next video thank you peace